You can now get rid of ManyChat using Funnel Freedom. So if you're a content creator on Facebook or Instagram, and let's just say you make a video and you want people to comment down below. So let's just say you're like, hey, if you want access to this program, say I'm in down below in the comments. Well, now with Funnel Freedom, you can actually do auto replies, meaning you can get rid of ManyChat or other automation softwares that you're paying for. Now, I'm super excited about this because before you were only able to do an auto DM using Funnel Freedom, but now you can do an auto comment reply, which I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up inside of automations of the Funnel Freedom software. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly how you can set up this automation in your Funnel Freedom account. Now, one thing to know is this tutorial on how you can do an auto reply apply using funnel freedom will also work if you're also using the go high level system that being said the first thing we want to do is we need to make sure that our Facebook and Instagram account are connected if they're not integrated with your funnel freedom or go high level account this will not work so to do this you're gonna want to go to your settings and then inside of settings you're gonna look for integrations okay now what you want to do here is you want to make sure this is connected so both Facebook and Instagram will look like this if you see that they're grayed out that means they're not integrated and you need to fix whatever is wrong but typically if you create a Facebook page you can connect that Facebook page to the Instagram page and they'll automatically be connected okay but to make sure just obviously go see you can drop down it's gonna integrate with your Facebook profile and you can choose whatever profile it is that you have on there okay so just make sure that the Facebook and Instagram are both showing just like that now as a quick example before I show you the automation this is kind of what it looks like in real time okay so for example let's just say this video okay just as an example I created a video and I told people in the video to comment down below saying now what okay so what happens here is you know in the past you'll, you'll either have to go and reply to all these you know manually but if you're using the funnel freedom automation that I'm about to show you what you can do is everyone who comments this keyword now what you can send them an automated comment okay now in this case you know I'm like hey um, I just sent you a DM with the link to the training okay so that's basically what we're doing but again the whole goal is to automate this that way you don't have to go and reply and in this case you can see I had over 800 comments Comments, okay, so let me show you how to do that inside of Funnel Freedom. All right, so you're gonna wanna go inside of your Funnel Freedom account. You're gonna click on automation, okay? Under automation, you're gonna click on workflows, and I'll show you how to do this from scratch, okay? We're gonna create a workflow. Now, as you can see, I have a ton of workflows inside of my Funnel Freedom account because you're allowed unlimited workflows. But one thing I like to do to keep things really organized is I like to create a folder of all my workflows. Okay, so as you can see, I have a workflow for just my Instagram DMs and automations. Okay, so to do that, you can go ahead and just create a folder. Now, you don't have to do this, it just makes things a lot easier as you build out more automations. Okay, but I'm gonna go inside of here and we're gonna create a workflow from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create workflow and I'm gonna start from scratch. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna name the workflow. So in this case, I'm gonna call it IG. And then I'm going to mention what it is. So this one I'm going to put comments and then I'm just going to put here. Let's just do all in. Okay, that, that'll be good. That's just naming it so I know exactly what it is. Okay, so once you name it, you know, you want to make sure if you're doing multiple workflows that it's just organized, right? So this is specifically only for you. Okay, this is not going to do anything in the actual workflow itself. All right, so the first step here now to create the workflow is we need to add a trigger. Now, I do a lot of workflows inside side of Funnel Freedom and whether you're doing an email workflow or you know a DM IG workflow or 
whatever workflow you're doing, you need something to trigger it, right? So I just want you to think about this logically because you'll be able to create workflows very easily once you understand the logic, okay? So a trigger is just like, hey, if this event happens, then go ahead and start this workflow, okay? So in this case here, I'm gonna add new trigger. I'm gonna look for IG, okay? Or Instagram comment on post, okay? So now I could uh, name this. So I'm just gonna call it comment all in. Page is, I'm gonna call it Jonathan Montoya. So this is obviously my page here. So the one that it's already integrated. So again, if it's not integrated on the back end, then this will not pull up, okay? Next thing is post is a published post. So we can just leave that as is. And then right here, it's gonna ask if it's a specific post. Now for me, I don't want it to be a specific post. I actually just want it to be pretty much all my posts, right? Whenever I create a, a video, I'm like, hey, comment all in down below if you want me to send you a DM or comment all in down below if you want to know how you can get access to this, okay? So I'm just not gonna add anything here, but what I do wanna do is I wanna add a filter and I wanna do here contains phrase and then I'm gonna put all in, okay? So when people comment all in, this is gonna trigger the workflow, okay? So once I do that, you can see here, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. That's the workflow here. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And now this is now the trigger, okay? So now when someone comments the word right here again, contains phrase all in, it's gonna trigger this workflow. The, the thing is gonna get started. All right, so just making sure this all looks good for my trigger. Again, page is Jonathan Montoya, post is published post, and contains phrase I'm in, okay? So we wanna make sure that that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna save trigger, and now this is the trigger. Now we gotta actually do the reply, right? So we didn't do any replying. This is just when someone types that in, okay? So we're gonna hit this plus here, and we're just gonna type in here, reply in comments, okay? Now this is really cool, right? Because this is where you can start to add all your replies, and you can add multiple replies here, okay? So I'm gonna add a few replies. I'll come back to this. Now one thing I wanna note here is I'm gonna put hey, and then I'm gonna use this drop down here, and you can do this if you want, but the here's the thing, right? If we do hey first name, it might not know that, right? Because again, this is gonna be taking the name from Instagram, so it might not know that first name. So this right here, you're gonna have to test this out. So I probably won't use this here, but what we'll do is, and I have this already typed out, but I'll say hey, and then I'm gonna say here, thank you so much for your comment. I just sent you a message on Instagram. Did you get my message? Let me know because sometimes it ends up in the request section. And you'll notice here, this is exactly what I'm saying right here, as you can see, okay? So we can type that in and this could be the first response. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna hit like comment because I want I want to like the comment as well. It just kind of adds more engagement, okay? But I can just continue adding here, right? So I can just continue on and just say, you know, maybe just change it up a little bit. Hello, thank you so much for your comment. And then we could kind of just do the same thing. I add one more here and we'll just say, you know, I'll say, let's go, right? Something like that. And that way it's, it's different, right? So I can just change that up a few times and that's it, right? So now, so what happens here again, when someone comments the word I'm in, it's gonna go ahead and send these messages, okay? Now, the cool thing is you can do multiple triggers, right? So let's just say, you know, for example, on this one, I said, comment, I want access. Well, we can very easily go ahead and just add another trigger to this same thing, okay? So I could go over here and add new trigger. Again, Instagram, comment on post, page is Jonathan Montoya. And then right here, I can do contains phrase, and then I could do, I want access, right? Something like that. But depending on what you wanna do, right? If if you're sending different links or different workflows, you're gonna have to kind of see. But what I'm saying is you can have multiple triggers trigger that comment, okay? So as you can see, that's that. So let's go ahead and test this out and make sure this is working, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna delete this one for now. I'm just gonna leave this one trigger saying I'm in. And when someone comments I'm in, it's gonna send them one of these messages, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna save this. More importantly, I wanna publish this because if it's not published, it will not work. So I'm gonna publish and save it and let's go ahead and test this out. All right, now testing this out, I'm just gonna go to my notifications here on Instagram and I, I messaged myself from a few other accounts here and as you can see, I said I'm in here and then 
uh, also on Funnel Freedom, I put I'm in. So let's see if it responded back. So if I click on this here, just random video of us working out here. If I go down and you can see I put I'm in and I get this reply here. So that's perfect. And then I also did it again with this one and I also get a reply um, this one said hello and this one said hey okay now here's the interesting thing and something i want to mention okay so if we go back over here you'll notice it's spelled like this but some people might put the apostrophe right so one thing you might want to do is you might want to create a different trigger with the different spellings right so again what you want to do is do the same thing we did here again page is jonathan post is published and then contains phrase and then i'm in but with an apostrophe and then kind of think of different misspellings people would do because you know sometimes people spell things differently or whatever and it won't trigger it right so right here, I put it all lowercase, I'm in. And then right here, I put it as, you know, I'm with the apostrophe in, okay? So just, just kind of think about those things, right? As you're creating this workflow, okay? Now, one more thing I wanna mention here is, so now it's cool because we have the auto reply right here. But one thing you might wanna do now is now you wanna send them a DM, right? So you can also do that as well. So now that this is done, we can go ahead and send an automated DM. So we can go Instagram DM here and, you know, essentially just whatever you want to add in here for this, right? So thank you so much. Here is the course you requested, right? Or whatever it is. JonathanMontoyaLive.com is my website. So we, right here, we would go ahead and just send that. And basically the whole thing is ready to go, right? It's save and publish here at the top. And then again, if I go ahead and message myself the word I'm in, I should get that trigger. And as you can see here, it sent me the automated message with the link so super cool because again now again this is all completely done right so if you see you have this trigger it's going to then auto comment but then it's going to send an auto dm if that's how you want to set it up right so it's really cool you can do a lot of unique things and as long as you're messaging within i believe a 24 hour time frame as you can see here yeah as long as it's within 24 hours you can continue marketing you can continue sending a dm which is super super cool so you know, let's just say you want to put a wait time here and add another one in maybe 30 minutes, right? And then just say, hey, did you, you know, we could send another DM here. And then, you know, just saying, hello, did you get access to my training? So you can kind of just make this as long as you want, right? And then just keep adding wait times and you know, until people basically stop opening, but you can do this for 24 hours. As long as they re-engage, you're able to message them again and again and again, okay? So super cool. Obviously, you always remember save and publish before you you know go live with everything. So I hope this tutorial on how to auto comment reply on Instagram using Funnel Freedom was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. God bless.